Hi, this is a demo of EasyTap MPOS Windows Phone application. As you can see, the device on the phone are ready. The application is already installed. You can see that EasyTap MPOS and it's pinned to the start. So, the tile of this application you can reduce it in size or you can uh, increase it as well. So, before we go ahead and launch the application and use it, we need to do one thing. We need to pair the EasyTap device with the Windows Phone. So let's go to the settings. Go to the Bluetooth. Now switch it on. And you can see that EasyTap BT V2.1 device is available for pairing. So it says tap to pair. So let's just tap it. So you can see the pin number is being displayed here. The same pin number is being displayed on the device as well. So press OK. So now it says connected and it's ready for doing transactions. <coughs> Let's go ahead and launch the application and uh, do some transactions. So I'm launching the application here. As you can see, it needs a username and password. So I'm entering the username and password. So these details are provided by the EasyTap team. Once you enter, click next to continue. So now it's logged in. As you can see, there are placeholder to enter order number, amount, mobile number of the customer and email of the customer. So let's enter some order here. So I'll just enter order one, two, three. Amount you can enter anything. Right now I'm entering 2500. And I'll enter the mobile number of the customer. And I'm also entering the email of the customer. There you go. So click next to continue. So now it says it's connecting to EasyTap device. You can see it's Bluetooth is detected here and it's preparing. So this preparing is done once and it's not required later on. So once it is prepared, it will show a successful message. You can see that device preparation completed successfully. So press close. Now you can see the device and the app are asking to swipe or insert the card. So let's insert a card into the EasyTap device. You can see it's reading details here. Now the card needs a pin. So the device is asking for the pin and the application is also doing the same. So let's enter the pin and press OK. Now the device will send data to the app and app will send the data to the server for authorization. As you can see, the authorization is complete. So the and the device says please remove card. So let's remove the card and let's verify the details. So you can see the amount is 2500. This is the transaction ID and this is the card number. You can see the last four digits 4193 and these are the digits on the card as well. So the auth code and RRN are the details from the bank which are required for reconciliation. So let's press back so that we can do another transaction. Apart from the transactions, I wanted to also show you the receipt received by the customer. So you can see the transaction we did for 2500 and this is the last four digits of the card used and the order number 123. So if you want to view the receipt, click on this link. So it will take you to a receipt screen. So as you can see, this, this receipt has the details of the transaction being done. So it has the card number, the type of the card, the amount, 
on all other details. Now let's verify if the application will retain the details if we push it to the background. So I'm pushing the application to the background by pressing the start button and I'll relaunch the application. And you can see the details what we have entered are still retained. Now let's see how the application will behave if there is no internet. Let's go to the settings and disable the Wi-Fi. So I'm disabling the Wi-Fi here. So now there is no internet. So let's launch the application. You can see here the application is displaying a message. No internet connectivity. Please check your internet connectivity. So this indicates user to connect to the internet before using the application. Let's try airplane mode also. So let me switch on the Wi-Fi back. And now I'll select airplane mode. So now the application behavior should be the same as before. So let's launch the application again. So as you can see, the application is again showing a message, no internet connectivity, please check your internet connectivity. So this helps the user to connect internet before using the application. Thank you.